Hey everyone, this is Armando for Blaze Kick, and I'm here to do yet another unboxing video. This time it's gonna be on a game that I decided to import from Japan because I was too impatient to wait for its Western release. And since you clicked on this video, you probably know which game that is by now. Plus, I am wearing a shirt that hints it. So yeah, um, so that game is Persona 5. I imported the 20th anniversary edition of the game. So this is basically Japan's collector's edition. Um, but I decided to spend a bit more to also get the Mitsu Deluxe pack that comes with these two figures. Um, it's a chibi figure of the protagonist and Morgana. Um, and I also got these. I think this... I'm not sure what these are. I'm gonna go with posters. But, or maybe clear files, I don't know. I know it's not paper here, it's like plastic. But I will open everything up and show you guys. Um, yeah, and I got this on PlayAsia by the way. So, great service from them. Got, got it shipped within, I mean, it shipped and it arrived within two days. So, yeah. So here's the back of the 20th anniversary edition. It features this cool illustration of the characters. And then just again the front, this is a PS4 copy of the game. Um, in here we have, we'll have a Persona 5 art book, a soundtrack featuring tracks from a past Persona games plus Persona 5, and the game for the PlayStation 4 plus DLC. Um, but and if you decide to import this and to get the DLC, you have to, you'll have to make a PS, a Japanese PSN account. It won't work with your European or or North American account. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna open all this up right now. Then I will do close-ups of everything once I show them to you here on this video segment through my webcam. Yeah. All right. So let's start off with this. So I really know. I really want to know what's in here. Plus, this this is probably easier. Um, yeah. So Persona 5 comes out in the West. On February 14th that's Valentine's Day so that's a great way to spend Valentine's Day um, but okay yeah I was right some posters uh, plastic posters for them. let's see so let me take them out real quick all right so we have this first one between characters and this is sort of Second one, I, I think this is like the first promo art for the game that we that we got. Um, so. Then this one. Oh, this one's my favorite. I love this. One. The protagonist. Yeah, I like this one. And this awesome. One. I like this one too. I like all of them actually. I'm really glad I bought this now. Yeah, I'm happy with these posters. I'll, pro I'll probably frame them. Or frame them. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely frame them. All right, so now le let's open up this. Let's, op let's open up the game. Then we'll go for the figures. All right, so let, let me open this real quick. Let me take this off. I wanna keep this box as pristine as I can so I can put it on my shelf over there. With some of the Persona stuff that I've gotten. Um, oh yeah, I my I guess this is my. Oh, hold on. there we go. Ooh, all right. So this thing just came off. That's fine. So yeah, buddy. Love this. Love this. Love this. Is this again the illustration in the back? Oh, it's awesome. Okay. Um. Yeah, I, I, again, I will do a close-up of everything. So, got this thing open. Do, 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 do. All right, so let's do this. It's in here. Okay, I, I'm not sure what this is, but I'll, I'll find out. All right, so, first of all, oh, God. 
the soundtracks. Ah, oh, yeah, this is cool. Um, the game for the PlayStation 4. Of course, this is all in Japanese, as you can see over here in the back. All Japanese. Um, we still have some stuff left in this box. Yep, that's right here, but almost something. I'm so excited. Alright, here's the art book. Oh, it's a hardcover. Cool. Um, I probably won't show this because I don't really want to spoil anything here on this unboxing video. And if I do sh like show you a couple of pages, you might get spoiled, so... So this is it. I don't know. Maybe I'll show like the first page where it has like it has um like art from f featuring the protagonist or something like that. Um yeah. So let me open up. Let me let me see what's in here. Um, this I'm trying to open. Um, I'm trying to figure out what's in here. Oh, oh, it's a, a letter, it has the velvet um, logo in there, the velvet room logo, of course it's blue, just like velvet, I don't even know what I'm saying right now, I just want to get, I just want to get this open, okay, so here's this thing, I, I think this is where I'll get all the DLC codes for the game. No, I'm not sure how to open it. I don't want to rip it. Oh, this is going to be a fucking hassle. Okay, I give up on this. I'll try to open it on my own time. Because I want to do a close-up of this. I think all the codes are in here, though. So I think I'm going to have to end up opening it. So, Okay. So that's that. I will open the game when I switch angles. Let me get this. Let me open the figures real quick. And then, then I'll show a close up of everything. Cool. That was easy. Ah, yeah. There he is. There's a protagonist. All of this. He's just not having a very good day. Okay, I got him built. Here's the protagonist. I need to, I still need to put him on his base, which I'll do now. And then we'll be how it looks. There we go. Um, there he is. The Persona 5 protagonist. Again, I will, I will do a close-up of him and Morgana, and I'm going to open up Morgana now. Alright, I built Morgana. There there she is. Um, I'll, I'll show them off. There they are. And yeah, again, I will do a close-up of them, so you can take a look at them. Yeah, so that's it. I will, again, I will do a close-up. I will open up the... the the soundtracks so you guys can see the discs and that's all going to be on this same video but with a different angle and I'm also going to use my iPhone camera so it's going to be a much better quality than this. So yeah. Alright so now let's take a look at everything that we got here. Let's do a close up of everything. Uh, so here's a box for the 20th anniversary edition. Um, now the back. I really like this illustration. I'm, re I'm really glad it looked like that because I'm, it's going to look great on my shelf. I can't wait to put it over there. Um, and now let's look at the figures. These figures are exclusive to the Famitsu pack. Um, the pack that I bought is one of two. There's a, another one that's a bit more expensive than the one that I bought. Uh, but that one has a light up crystal. I didn't know why I 
I, I don't know why I didn't go for that one, but I mean, it's fine. I just really wanted these, these figures because I really thought they were going to come to the list whenever Persona 5 gets over here. So, um, yeah, so if you want these figures as well, make sure to get the Famitsu pack. It doesn't have to be the 20th anniversary edition, you can just buy the regular game, but the Famitsu pack, yeah. Um, so now, let's see what's in this letter. I did manage to open it. It took a while, and I'm glad I didn't rip it because it looks really nice. Um, so yeah, and it's pretty official because it has Atlas's logo in there and all the trademark mark stuff that goes with that. Um, yeah, let's take a look. All right, so it's a letter from Igor, and it comes with a card and. By the way, guys, I was right. Um, in the back of that card, I have the code to download all the DLC for the game. By the way, I I already made a Japanese PSN account, so I didn't have any trouble with that. And it came with, I think it's four packs of costumes, a theme, and some uh, uh, PSN avatars. I, I think that's what it is. Um, now, let's take a look at the soundtrack real quick. The 20th anniversary soundtrack. Whatever. Uh, oh yeah, side note. The, the PSN avatars are based on these logos. That are imprinted imprinted in those discs. Yeah, and then just a track listing. This is all in Japanese, by the way, so I have no idea what it says. Well, some of it is it, some of it is in Japanese, not all of it. But yeah. Now the art book. I, I will show off like two pages of it. And here they are, just featuring the protagonist. I, I took a look at most of them, and it's just art for, from the character, so it doesn't really spoil anything. But um, yeah, I, I don't really want to show any other characters, just in case you guys don't know who's in the game and what their persona looks like, or whatever. Now um, the game. Now let's open the game for the PlayStation 4. Um, it's fine. Again, all in Japanese. I don't know what how I'm, I'm gonna play it, but I'm gonna try to get through this game. It's a really text-heavy game, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. But honestly, I couldn't wait until February. I I wanted to try it out, and plus, I'm a really huge Persona fan, so I needed to have this. Like I needed to. Um, yeah, so let's open up this game real quick. I'll probably make a couple of videos showing off gameplay of it later on. Um, yeah, so that's the disc. The disc looks really nice, by the way. And on the, over there, we have just promo for the Persona 5 animation, Daybreakers. Um, they're going to sell the Blu-ray in December in Japan. But you can all you can already watch it on Crunchyroll. If you have Crunchyroll, you can watch that prologue. It's really good. I, I recommend. Um, again, the disc. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all that is, that's included in this 20th anniversary edition from into Deluxe Pack. So here's a quick recap of what's included in this version of the game. A copy of Persona 5 for the PlayStation 4, some DLC for the game, an art book, a cool looking box, the soundtrack, a Morgana and protagonist figure, and those posters that I showed off earlier in the video. Um, and again, this is for Persona 5, the 20th anniversary edition, but Mitsu Deluxe Pack. And if you're a huge Persona fan, I would recommend importing this because it makes a great addition to any Persona collection, really. So so that's it for this unboxing video, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know any feedback that you had for me, just leave it in the comments. Make sure to, to like the video, share the video, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, 
Again, my name is Armando, and you can follow me on Twitter at ArmsMXZ. I talk about a lot of stuff on there. I will not tweet any Persona spoilers or say anything about Persona 5 that's considered a spoiler in any podcast that I'm in. And I do have some other Persona 5 content planned out. I will not upload any spoilers. I'll, if anything, I'll just I'll just do early game stuff and then just show off the combat or something like that. And that's all going to be on this channel, by the way, on the PlayStation YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe for that. Alright? Well, again, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.